What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So this is going to be five tips for beginners. So I'm actually going to start working on some more beginner level guides and beginner level videos. People always ask me how do you make money and whatnot. And what I've noticed is those videos generally get more attention. I think, um, you know, I think people really want to know. This, is, this server isn't, you know, like most other old school servers. It's a pretty unique server. If you've played it a long time, you know that. And if you've seen just a couple videos, you can you can pick up on that yourself. So starting off is a little bit interesting uh, so we're gonna on a new account uh, we're gonna play as a normal account if you're an Iron Man everything is generally the same you just can't trade obviously um, in terms of what shops you can access obviously you can't access as many shops as a normal account but it shouldn't really matter uh, so let's uh, let's get into these tips so the first thing I recommend every new player doing on, on really any server it doesn't even matter or even old school figure out what you want to do figure out what you like. Now most people already know what they like. If you play multiple of the servers you kind of have an idea. Some people PK, some people like the skill, some people like the boss, and some people like to do a little bit of everything. Everything you do is gonna be a lot easier if you enjoy doing it, you know. If you hate fishing and fishing is the best money making method, obviously I, I wouldn't recommend it for you because if you if you don't enjoy it, you're not gonna have a good time. So in terms of how to make money, what you need to do is figure out what you like. Most people like PVM. This is mostly a PVM server, so um, figure out what boss you want to strive for. There's tons of entry-level bosses such as Mammoths or Glod that um, really don't require much to do. And then you have some more of the more in-depth ones like Vorkoth is actually pretty decent in terms of drops. There's even like uh, demi bosses uh, with, like with the Adamant Dragons and Rune Dragons are actually pretty easy and they have decent drops. Uh, one thing you can do is view the drop table and just kind of search around if you want to see. Uh, if you want to just like search for random items here and there, you can figure it out. Oh, we have great old, you know, greater abyssal demon. What the hell is this? And you can ask questions in game. Uh, if you're wondering, this is a superior slayer creature. So really, that's the main thing you want to do. Now, if you want, like, most people when they when start off a server, they don't really care about having fun. They just want to go for the, the the immediate way to make money. And one of the best ways to make money on a fresh account, um, well, for starters, uh, get some stats. Let's go do that. Let's go trade. Always get a Slayer task. I don't know why people always just go to Rock Traps first. I like to get a Slayer task. Hill Giants. Now, Hill Giants might be tough, but they're, they're definitely going to be doable. You get you get everything you should need. Um, <laughs> i got to remember where these things are. Hopefully, um, I'm trying to remember if they're like in a dangerous spot. You know what I think they are. Let's find out if I'm going to die here. The Fire Giants are aggressive. No! Cool. See? See? No, everything's fine. I wouldn't recommend doing this. Go to, go to Rock Crabs. But, uh, yeah, work on your stats. By the way, this isn't really a tip. This is sort of just like an intro. This is this is literally like the first thing you should do is focus on your stats. And obviously, if you want to go a scaling route or a different route, by all means, go that route. But for this strategy and for what I'm going to recommend, we're gonna uh, the first thing you should do is, is get uh, stats. You don't actually have to do it here. You can go train at Rock Crabs if you want. But I'd, I'd always recommend Slayer just because Slayer is... Slayer's good. Everybody knows Slayer. Slayer is a good way to make money. Um, and if you're wondering how to make money from Slayer, uh, for starters, you can get Slayer points and buy bonds and, and get mystery boxes and stuff like that. But honestly, just killing any monster has potential because on this server, we have the rare drop table and the uber rare drop table. And I've talked about those many times. You can find information on the forums. I'm going to have probably a couple forum links. More. I know I, know I always say I'm going to link stuff, but I don't. But I promise I'll have some links in the description below if you want to check those out. And it'll show the rare drop table. But basically, every monster has a one in whatever chance of accessing the rare drop table. And then there's also an uber rare table, which is even better. So just killing these hill giants, I just made the account killing, killing hill giants. We could end up getting like a rapier or something like that, which is worth uh, four or 500 mil cash in game. I'm not sure uh, exactly what it goes for now. But uh, either way, trade up your stats. Also, I think Double Experience might be on. It is because uh, they're doing some events. The, the DR Community Manager is doing events. So it's going a little bit better for me, but it shouldn't affect things that much. I'm not making any skill-based goals. If you're a non-Iron Man, and really I guess if you're an Iron Man as well, you're, you're really going to want to get 43 Prayer. 43 Prayer is a good way to go on this server. Um, it's gonna. It's really just going to make things a lot easier for you. If you're a non-Iron Man, you can buy prayer potions from the store. If you're an Iron Man, I would recommend going, uh, going and doing farming first. That way you can get yourself a good supply of prayer potions. You can also use that drop table we talked about to look at the, uh, you know, at the possible monsters that drop prayer potions because there are actually a couple monsters that drop prayer potions or ran ours easily. So that could 
be a better route. Personally, I would just go for um, farming. It's not that hard. And you only need, I think, like 40 or so for prayer potions. So another tip would be to check out Rosalo. So there's a lot of weird, interesting things on the server. Rosalo is one of them that um, really stands out. If you look at Rosalo's shop here, you can see that it's pretty It's pretty nice. It's got a lot of interesting things in here. It's got mystery boxes if that's something you want. It's got bandit teleports, which if you, have, if you don't know about bandits, uh, watch my last video on bandits there. Um, that, that, that video explains it all. But you can get clue scrolls, you can get dragon bones, etc. Uh, Rosalo is a traveling salesman, so basically what that means is he comes and goes. He um, will normally stay in game for around three or four months and then leave for three or four months. And he's going to be leaving soon, so if you're watching this around the time it was uploaded, um, he might have already been left or he might be leaving, so make sure if you if there's anything you really want to go for in this shop that you, you do so. Another very important tip is checking out some of the custom items. Now there's a lot of custom items all over the place. Um, and when I mean custom items, I don't mean like, oh, like Torva, you know, Torva Kite Shield or something crazy like that. It's items that are, exist in old school that have been repurposed for different things on Revival. Um, so a good example of that would be a Magic Oyster. Now a Magic Oyster, 335k, it automatically completes a clue scroll for you. This is, of course, excluding masters, but if you have an easy clue scroll and it has requirements saying something like, uh, you know, have wield a magic hat and do some shit, this will negate that. So it really is just an easy way to act to complete clue scrolls. Uh, chemical key is pretty much the same as old school where it uh, opens up God Wars. But uh, bank extenders right here, which are 25 mil, these will extend your bank by, um, well, I guess it doesn't examine that, but uh, they'll extend your, extend your bank by... Uh, 50 spaces. So, and there's a ton of different items in a, tough, a ton of different places. Um, going about your way to try to learn those is going to be really helpful. And and you can do it naturally. You can just play the game, and um, never be afraid to ask for help in the clan chat. Even if people are slow to reply, you should get a reply. And by all means, check the forums. But there are a, a ton of numerous different things you can do, and um, learning those is is really one of the best things you can do early on. So with some of this money here. We're going to buy ourselves some prayer potions. And again, if you're an Iron Man, all you have to do is train farming. It's obviously harder, but you play Iron Man for a reason, right? So let's get like five of these. Uh, and then we are going to get some... You can continue to kill Hill Giants, which is what we're going to do, or you can spend this money to buy um, Lava Dragon Bones in that shop, if the shop is available. It's really your call. What we're going to do now is buy a... Uh, let's buy Rune Gloves because they're cheap. Um, I think we have a power... I don't know why I started as a power. I did that. That's my fault. I'm not blaming anybody. But um, so just buy some starter gear, whatever you whatever you want. It's your money, your game. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. But uh, ideally, getting prayer is going to be helpful. So for now, we actually don't need these prayer potions. We're going to go back to hill giants, kill some hill giants, uh, work on our stats a little bit. You do not need a high stats for what we're going to do. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get 60, 60, 60 ish with 43 prayer. So killing high, hill giants is a good first monster because of the, the big bone drop, but you can kill men right over here for normal bone drops. Um, it's whatever you fancy. All right, so we're going to kill a, a couple more. You can see the stats. You really do not need high stats to do what we're doing. The main thing you're going to want is 43 prayer and a good chunk of prayer potions. Obviously, the higher stats you have, the better. If you want to spend more time training, by all means you can. But once I show you what we're going to do, it's it's pretty simple. We're basically going to be killing experiments. So as a normal account, it's going to be a lot easier because you can pretty much get it for free or get it very cheap. As an Iron Man, you'll have to make it yourself, and it can be kind of difficult. It's not hard, but it, 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 it's, a, a require, it's, a, uh, it's a lengthy process, and I'll explain both methods. Okay, so you can see these are the final stats. Let's take these home. And again, this should work with without double experience. Um, it obviously, it's just speeding things up for me, but uh, the, the general speed is not much different. So once we get our 53 here, we will uh, eat some sharks. Or four, 43, just for prey melee. Uh, anything extra is just a bonus. So let's spank all this stuff right here. Let's get our money out. Uh, so now you're going to need to get a little bit of money. So um, there's a couple of different ways to do it. We're going to start off, uh, I'll, I'll start off explaining it as a normal player. So first thing you can do is just ask in the CC. Does anyone have a an experiment? Why am I failing? I feel like I'm spelling that wrong. Until sphere. So what you're looking for is an experimental sphere. Just ask on the CC. Most people will just give it to you. 
If you do end up having to pay for it, it's roughly, it's, it's very cheap, one mil. It all depends on the person and the time. It is not, it is not. Anyone can can I have? Most people, if they do sell it, will just sell it for very cheap, one mil or so. I um, actually attempted this in the past or something similar, and I was able to get one for free every single time. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, if you're an Iron Man, I'll show you that step in a sec as well. Uh, just keep killing these. No matter what, even if you do have to buy one, um, you're still going to want money. And this is the best way to get it uh, in terms of ease. You can do Hunter Hunters better. But Hunter is a little bit more in depth. Um, like you, it's going to take a little bit longer to get started, and you're only going to be doing it for a couple minutes because the real money is going to be killing experiments. You're not going to be doing this a whole, you know, a whole lot. So just get that much money in, and really, you're just kind of going for um, looting. Uh, you're just kind of getting your gear better. Another thing you could attempt, and I've done this before, is straight up just looting. Um, during prime hours is obviously easier. It depends on when you're playing, but. Let me try to get this sphere. Awesome. So thank you to uh, Moa Sam for giving us the sphere. Thank you very much. And like I said, every single time I've attempted this, I believe three times, I got the sphere for free each time. Um, they're not too hard to make. And you actually get more from the monsters. So you should hopefully get another one, and you won't have to you won't have to beg anymore. And don't beg. Just you know, ask and see if anyone has it. And if they don't have it, you have to do the Iron Man method. So the Iron Man method is, let's, let's get into that now. Go to colon colon invent. Now, the Iron Man method is a little more difficult because you're going to need more money. Um, in terms of to get money, it might be worth it to invest in Hunter. Hunter is, is more consistent cash. It's just it takes a little bit more to start up. But you could do that. You could hopefully get lucky and get like a really good drop. Um, if Whatever the trivia comes up, if you know the, you know, some of the trivia questions are easier than others. Um, like this one is, you didn't add a 20. Uh, that, that's, 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 that's mine. That's, that's me. Let me see if there's another one somewhere. I think it comes up every five minutes or so. You can get roughly 300k. Um, if you do achievements, I think they give you 250k each. So there's actually a couple different ways that you could just do these if you didn't really want to go a long, annoying route. But as an Ironman, you're going to need 5 mil cash to buy this device. Now, I'd recommend normal players buying it as well. Invention um, is one of the uh, custom is a custom skill we have on this server. And it's kind of scary to a lot of people. It is really expensive, but if you treat it you know you don't have to treat like if you look at these prices they're pretty hefty but um i would recommend getting an old x device and just disassembling things right at the start it's going to help you down the road once you actually do have more money and you're more interested into it and um no one's ever mentioned it but there yeah this dude has a purpose not in game yet but i have tons of ideas for invention so you know always always look forward to that but i'd recommend either way getting that device so if you're an iron man you're going to need that device um talk to this guy and he'll explain how to make the sphere uh, all you need is a Molten Glass and 35,000 generic opponents. So Molten Glass is found in his shop, which you can actually use. Iron Man can use this shop. Fun fact for you, if you want to buy some Summer Pies for food, if you want to get arrows, um, by all means, do that. Um, so Molten Glass is only 1,000 coins. And the 35 generic opponents is not that hard to get. Uh, what you're going to do, you're going to need money. That's really the thing. So investing in Hunter could be worth it. Um, you're going to need money. Um, you can use a general store, and you're going to buy... Actually, I don't think the general store has. I don't. I, I'm not an Iron Man, so I can't show you. But the Iron Man store over over here has uh, rune pickaxes and rune axes. I think the rune axe is better. So just buy a bunch of rune axes and disassemble them until you get 35 components. And I'll log on a different account and show you that now. So let's say you have the device, and let's just say you have extra five mil. And uh, again, I'm not an Iron Man on this account, but you can buy these. So let's just buy a bunch of them. And I'd recommend not having a weapon on because there's a good chance you might accidentally disassemble something. This is going to be sort of fixed in the future, but if it's it's mostly going to be for items of high value. So if you have like a dragon scimitar and you don't want to disassemble it, just be careful. So as you can see, getting 35,000 components is not going to be hard at all. Um, let's see how much money it's going to cost. It looks like it's only going to cost a little bit. Did I equip one? Yeah. That's why I want to make sure I do it. I'd always recommend that when you're disassembling. Until the... Even even when the in the system is, is out, that it should prevent you from disassembling things like the, the weapon I just had, the Dragon Hunter crossbow. But the little items might still matter. So if you're a newer player, um, just keep that in mind. But as you can see, we've only spent like 400k so far, and we're about to get there. Not hard at all. And the shop, the shop is different, but it has the same item. That's all you need. Just the Runex. 
a bit slow. You can get um, generic components from most things, like most rune items and whatnot. So just playing the, the game, you should be able to get some. If you're not like if you're not an Iron Man, you should be able to lose shit. I mean, if you're not an Iron Man, don't do this method. I wouldn't recommend it. Just get the sphere for free or, or pay for the sphere. Um, so there you go. We got the 38. Let's go to invent, and I'll show you. I'll show you what the uh, invent looks like. There's a new kid. He needs to watch this guy. That'll help him. Uh, so then, just buy it. You do not need a schematic. Boom. And look at that. Some invention. That's your list. Some early invention levels right there. Sphere. Boom. So let's go back on the other account and I'll show you what experiments look like. So we've got roughly 400k. Come over to Wayne. Um, what gear you want to use is 100% up to you. I'd recommend getting prayer gear because you're just going to be praying the entire time. Get a helm of knee. It's not. Buy a dragon scimitar. And um, we already have climbing boots, right? Let's get a... Uh, you know what? Let's get a strength amulet instead of a glory. And we'll just get more prayer potions. So as you can see, the gear is looking pretty good right there. Have a bad shield, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. Just buy as many prayer pots as you can. Set up your inventory, something like this. Uh, if you want to take high elk runes, um, could be worth it. I'll, I'll show you why once we're there. It's really just up to you. I wouldn't recommend bringing this many. Uh, let's just say uh, one. And uh, you can buy strength potions as well. That would be recommended speed things up obviously you, you you should know how to do this if you're not an iron man it should be a lot easier if you're an iron man it's just i mean it's that's the that's the fun of playing an iron man everything's a little bit more difficult um but the general idea is the same and this could help iron man as well because obviously having money helps there's a lot of stores that are accessible to iron man there's a lot of things you you'd want money for so uh, once you're ready to go get your sphere activate it and you are here now, uh, depending on your combat level, they might be aggressive. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, them being aggressive makes it easier. They have not that high of stats. They're pretty easy to kill. Pretty, It's pretty good training. As you can see, we have a dude right here who is 93 combat. Um, uh, there's a, a 124 over there, and if there's probably going to be people south. There's a good chunk of spawns. Um, so let me kill a couple, and I'll sort of show you what the loots are going to look like over time. Uh, I'd recommend looting everything that is uh, stackable, because why not, right? So you can see some items like the Dragon Halberd on the floor, Rune Two-Hander. If you want to break Elk Runes, you can. It's not as important later on. Um, personally, what I do is I disassemble them. That's why I was saying having the device could help, because this would be corrupt components, this would be generic components. And over time, it will add up. So, uh, this drop right here is is the main drop you're going for, with paper scraps. So once you get 100 paper scraps, you can combine them, and it will give you a random schematic. You could get one of the good ones, one of the really expensive ones, which will high alk for like 125 mil, or you can get one of the lower tier ones, which is like 50 mil. The, the, the chance is exactly the same, so realistically, you're, you're likely to get a good item, because there's more good items than bad items. And anything you get um, that's good will go over Yale, so... The goal is to collect 100 paper scraps. Um, this process is going to take a little while. As you can see, you need 100. We got, uh, there's an uncommon drop, and then there's a rare drop of two. Having a luck-boosting item like the Ring of Wealth Eye will help. You might be able to get those for free. I never um, I never actually tried to ask, but you could always ask in-game. Once you get a little bit of money, you could definitely buy one. I'm sure someone would sell it for like a couple mil. Um, and you're really just going to sit here and kill these. So in terms of cash, as you saw, that drop right there, 750k. The actual money is going to add up as well. You're not only relying on the paper scraps. Paper scraps is the big thing. That's the main goal. But you should earn a nice little chunk of money along the way as well. And these caskets are, um, as you saw, we just got 250k from the caskets. And, and that's um, only six kills. And six kills we've we've gained basically a mil and uh, are on our way towards uh, some more money. And as you can see, this is really low effort. We're, we started off with, I think I had 51 strength uh, when, I, when I got here. So we started off with really low stats. We've only been playing for roughly 20 minutes and we're on our way. Now, if this is something that doesn't suit you, there's plenty of other routes. I would strongly recommend checking out some of my other videos. I'm going to have some links in the description for you so you don't have to go looking too far. Um, the drop table list that includes all the monsters, that is going to be one of your best friends. You can just go sort of look at monsters and figure out what might be cool and what might not be good. I'd recommend Glod and or Mammoths. I'll have the videos in the description for those below. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, if you have any additional tips, any suggestions for newer players, or you, you know you you want more information, you want sort of like a, a part two of this video where we take this account and we can keep continue going, let me know. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see.